first piece is Untitled. Do you think I've forgotten? I have not. You old hag have to be tough in this cold, walking in stilettos atop limestone and concrete. I will consign your vintage. It can be so callous, searching for Bodega's dream, yet I am four skinny trees with no use of a calendar. I exist in you. You are so temporary, Christmas and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah becomes a crowded church between landmark and benchmark. I do not believe in resolution, just revelation. So I marked you untitled. And I still believe in the Appalachian Trail spotted like a Jackson Pollock painting. And there are small pockets of poverty in this bad economy spilling over into January. Shall I call it resurrection, the advent or Lent, the death burial, the leap year February among the bagel eating crowd of Martin Luther King is just another mental health day. So I will fight for you. And for all those that cross the river, the ones who believe in the Macy's window for independence in Juneteenth, I will listen for their prognosticators and make room for Ogle Bloom. This is still Billy Joe's country, waiting for the shrilling clack of an old dishwasher claiming to read old newspapers and magazines that faucet my desk. The bills are lingering year after year. I'm always in default. So I will 12 month you, my dear. Dune Shack. Did not realize the rain came and washed it all away. Everything is just so kitsch. The red, the rich red lobster pots the hipsters in fitted t-shirts, mothers and babies, the interracial couples smothering in Ray-Ban, Dan Lupe watercolors, the butternut saying, rather find me a dune shack than the aqua bar, the karaoke voice from afar cracked open my book for the rest of the night. Her right. nice. marble statue at the Met. I saw her, the decapitated head of Irene, the personification of peace, the agony and ecstasy of marble. I saw the shatter, the police blotter. I saw a cutthroat, a hopeless conflict and indictment. I saw Zeus and Themis. I saw the wanton and the needless. I saw a bust. I saw a bust up and a beat down. I saw the downward frown can't turn around unless I look up. And she was headless, something senseless, a murder. She was raped, violet. I was being piloted back to Iraq. My back was to Afghanistan, the reticular script. There was no relief in the illumination, only the demarcation. I became a relic. Could I live with her? that nudeless marble statue in the Met. There were too many artifacts. I felt sacked like Rome. I was lonely. Oh. Okay. Just trying to be calm. <laughs> Do it, man. A Jeep ride in Boston. I turned off Bascom Road. I had the smell of dead leaves and decomposing trees. It's cold down here on this summer road to Hades. Instead of digging up earthworms, we tracked the mirth. We ran into an army of mosquitoes, a storm of palmetto bugs sabotaging our arms. It felt like razor wires in the dark room canopy. It was just antiphony and skeletal remains, carcasses left marks on the territory. The forest is a spooky black, like someone pulling the plug in Brooklyn. But this trail has never seen a sidewalk or a traffic cop, only lily pads with blossoms. Even the air has been accosted. Damn. Mm. Yeah. 
to Dorian Gray. We spill into the street two overstuffed receptacles, each word rhyme and each feet marking time with square faces, the traces of Guinness twist and twain and George Bernard Shaw standing arm guarding the reliquary of voices unspoken Maya and aviary and James Baldwin in slant phrases, the newspaper litter the walls, the table are far po, the names left out is Shaw, but all is forgiven, these fragments are testaments of the village, high voltage, idle the room in communion on a stool until the study finish until times replenish, then maybe the bard will recite in the gray and the enlighten and the linger at the door. I wrote that at Dorian Gray. Wow. I was filling it. <laughs> Drinking a little bit at Dorian Gray. Here's another drunk poem. <laughs> a dive bar. It's hard to write here as the French girl speaks menage a trois through the glass. This is the same bar with no locks on the bathroom door, and I have to go all the way to Oregon to feel like fishing, feel like wishing in this sagebrush of the night, speaking tumbleweed and bespoke gardens with all these steps stepping into the Willamette River. At least I can write my friends a postcard as I idle in Powell books, as I wait for the bathroom chance, but there are campgrounds and there are people hidden in stalls, people hidden behind the waterfalls like trout or salmon upriver. But there is no hurry just off the Pacific, the rim of this basin. I will try to chase the naked shadows in the dark. So the dive bar will be temporary for now. But the man asked, will I have another? And I said, yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. A maple. I ran high in Lehigh Valley for some local color. All those torches around, all those Thomas Jefferson circles, they remind me of grandma with a fresh silver rinse. All that fire and nothing to condense still confront me with the dialogue between the bass and the viola. I hear Prokofiev, Glissando, and the mighty cello. There are red stripes on the back of the Mendes Mendelssohn Stradivarius. Brahms is so sleepy and also precarious. The concerto ends behind Hotel Bethlehem. Give me a minute. I'm trying to move through it. It's all right. Alphabet City, Oregon, 2012. I met a Lula in Alphabet City, Oregon, in the lily white city where hydrangeas are casting on the veranda, where the streets are categorized by Willamette Palais, bay windows, and the Willamette River. She eye groped my dick over crotches of quiche and buckwheat, over organic asparagus for breakfast over goblets of port and homemade cookies on silver platters and ornate moldings in bed frames with duvets and 500 threads of cotton. She locked me behind the dressing parlor with a rocking chair and magazine on antiquities. It was the dead of summer, in the middle of the summer. I could hear the bird bath and the rowing of the kayaks. It was all pantry and closets filled with a bivouac of emotions. Her eyes followed me down to the cobblestone path at the bottom of the hill to 23rd and Everett and Savior. She had no idea it was just a place for a dichotomy. <laughs> That's a secret. That's a secret poem. No one knows but us. Ampersand. There's an ice rink on Brian's Park. So figure eight times I pillage her breast for metaphor. Nibble the orange navel of Florida. It's Wallace Stevens. It's my belief in order when I separate the flesh. Let me walk inside. It's contortion and immersion. It's 
physical and judicial is how the hairy guavo and the follicle hang between my teeth. Duke. I see Duke in a hat. Duke on a movie set. It's Duke on Mount Rushmore. It's blue. It's blue. It's Strayhorn bugling Armstrong. It's blue. It's Duke. It's a contact sheet. It conflicts. It comes and sleeps. It's Romare in spirals. My soul is on trial. It's an ascension of the colorists. It's Matisse, the Cubist. It's Orleans. It's Orleans. It's Duke. It's a watercolor. It parades with a trombone. It's blue. It's blue. It's Bachelard. It's poetic space in Harlem. Steel faces. It's Richard Wright, it's haiku, it's blue, it's blue, it's blue, it's Paris blue. I'm going to finish up, I have a few more, thank you. Don't talk. (laughs) Don't talk about hanging from spirit, from effigy, in southern tongues and trees called Gina Central Park Five call stop, call frisk, call profile, call toe tag between liquor stores and churches, swamps and marshes between black boys and 17 in Florida, in Georgia, in Louisiana, in Camden, in Alabama. Don't talk about this money paid for the grave mistakes of the police and people with rights and wrongs and privilege and charm about Clarence Thomas and Jim Crow and about the lynching and gasoline crosses and Bibles and libels and sedition and treason and in reckoning. Don't talk about this shooting of a child on a jungle gym full of timber, full of chemical warfares, full of red lines and incorrectness and birth certificates without latitudes and mercator maps and blame ourselves for the decay, for the delay, the death, the snow. Don't talk about this spook, this sellout, the mouth, the mulatto, the passer, the passing, the one sixteenth, the jink, the cast. Don't talk. Just hide. Just pray. Behind color. Behind murder. Behind suicide. Just listen. Slash and burn and history and spider skillets the minutes in February and civil rights with the little light guarding it with a few heroes but still kill the ones in it the left out with the names and labels and aches and generations and stakes and nations don't talk just dream just quilt just lean back and see just bend down and plant a seed don't talk is not good enough for me Bob Kaufman. Bob Kaufman is one of those poets from the Beat Generation. I want to remember him. So they forgot about you, Bob. The Beat Generation of yesterday, Corso and Kerouac, Ginsburg, and the other insomniacs. Maybe we do not belong. The weak, slim margin of impossibility. Maybe Nina Loy will write an epic of tragedy. The drug addled and the gay unicorn the rainbow of fishnet stockings, so we hang around like dirty sneakers over tight wires cowering to the establishment, a punishment for loneliness. But I found you, Bob, in a bookstore called Revolution for a dollar. Nice. Got a minute. Final poem. A trance. I wake up in the dark to give 150 children the light. Those that come from the brownstone of the abario, the shell of a ghetto window with Martin de Porres candles and papaya juice, the mestizo brick of Tony Lopez navigating these streets are like extracting teeth. The subways are my floss. I am lost in Spanglish. I wake up in the dark to give 150 children the light so I reinvent myself and I call myself for character and emotion, tell them I am Langston or Petro Petri or I wear the wig of Sandra Cisnestros. I am just a small pedagogue that will not erode like a textbook, but my rhyme will be my rubric before I take my next breath. Thank you. Woo!